Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this interesting problem that is called a delete node in a binary search tree. So we have been given a root node of a binary search tree. What we need to do? We need to find this key node that has been given to us. And once we search this node, once we find this node, we need to delete this node, right? And uh, as a follow up, if we can solve this problem in a height of tree or in other words, log n. So n where n is number of nodes. Let's see what are the constraints here. So these are the straightforward constraints like this that will be in the range like number of nodes can be 10 to the power 4. These are the node value. They will be having the unique value. It will be the valid binary search tree key value will be in the range of minus 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 5. All right. Now let's try to understand this problem from the whiteboard, right? So I just cut these screenshots from the problem itself here. So let's say this is the three that we need to delete, right? So one way this four might shift here and that's the result of this. So four is coming here and two is becoming the left child of four, right? Another way is basically this two is shifting here in place of three and then four is becoming the right child like this. All right. So these are the examples. Now let's do this. Let's try to consider the uh, base cases, simple cases, right? And then from there we can go. Let's say 5, 3 and then 4. And we need to delete 3 from here. Then what will be the, our output? The output would be 5 and then 4. So here we can observe like if left child is null of the key, then basically we, will, we can return the right child, right? This is a straightforward observation. Now let's consider we are having 5, 3 and then let's say 2. Okay. And now if we need to delete 3, then what we will do? We will return 2 to the 5. So the output would be 5 and the left child would be 2. Right. So here another observation is like if right child is null, then we, have, we need to return the left child to the uh, previous recursive call to set to the left of root right so these are two outputs here if i choose the blue color this is one output this is another output so let's do this uh, first of all uh, try to create couple of placeholders to search the key right how we will search the key what we will do we will uh, find that key we will start our search from the root and if the given key is uh, less than the root then we will go left and if it is greater than the root, then we will go to the right and this way we will find that. Once that key is equal to the uh, this given value, right? Once we once the root reaches to the given key, then we will stop our search and we will handle these cases. We will check, okay, left is null, then let's go ahead and return right. And is right is null and let's go ahead and return left. Now let's consider another case. So let's say if we are having binary search tree like this, 5, 3. That's it. And we need to return 3. So what is the observation here? We can apply the same logic here as well. We can either check left or right. They both are null. So we can still return the null, right? So if left is null, then still we are returning. So here the left is null, then we were returning right. And the right is null, then we were returning the left, right? So in this case, it will be the same logic will work here. So if we will check left is null, then we will returning the right. That is null itself. So it will be in either case, it will be returning null to the previous recursive call. So the output would be this null, right? It's just for understanding. But in fact, this will be the single node. So this would be the output, right? So this is output. All right. Let's try to create this code, right? So let's do it with the base condition. If the base root is null, then let's go ahead and return null. Otherwise, let's check if key is less than root dot well, then what we will do? We will go to the left side. So let's call the same method again, delete node, this is root dot left, and then this is key. Else if, if key is greater than root dot well, then we will go to the right side. So let's go ahead and do that, root dot right, and then key. All right. So if key equals to root dot well, then this is the situation that we reached where we found the target, right? Where we found the key. 
then what we will do we will check we will handle these case right so what we will do we will handle these case if uh, root dot left is null then let's go ahead and return root dot right in the hope that it will not be null right so and if root dot right is null then let's go ahead and return root dot left so where we are returning these root dot right right and left we are re returning these root dot right or root dot left based on these conditions to the previous recursive calls what are the previous recursive calls here so now these uh, pointers getting passed to here to the previous recursive calls so we need to set these calls so so we need to set these values as well right so once we oops so we need to do root dot left equals to here and then root dot right equals to here so once these uh, root dot right or root dot left it will be returned to here then it will be set to root dot left or root dot right accordingly so i hope this thing is clear now the last case we need to handle so there were three cases right either uh, this scenario is there right where uh, the given target we found and then root dot left is null then basically we are returning the right side if right is null then we are returning the left side when i say root dot left is null it means in that case root is this three that is the key so i should say key left is null right because ideally the root is here in the traversal whenever we traverse basically <coughs> root keep changing right so when we say root dot left then the new left will be the root dot left and then new left accordingly it will be changing root dot left or root dot right that's in that context i was mentioning this as a root but this is in fact is a key all right <coughs> so now handle now let's go back to our original case so this was our original case right where 3 is there and uh, for 3 we are having uh, both the child root dot left and root dot right so they both are not null now what we will do in that case right one way we can shift this 2 to here so we can make like this 5 2 and then 4 and then 6 7 right this is the one way another way is basically 5 and then we can have 4 here and then we can have two here right so this is nothing this is nothing and similarly six and seven right so i am going to cover here uh, this case i mean anyway is fine the concept is same but i am going to cover here i am just taking the right side and then shifting this right side in place of three and right once i find the right then in the right dot left i am assigning this two so that's the approach i am following here so this is pretty straightforward right if we take any other variable that's let's say uh, we are taking any other variable that's called node here right if we assign this in as a node then we can say node dot left equals to right root if we are considering this as a root again the same philosophy right so root earlier was this and then we found we we are traversing to the root dot left so now now the new root is three right so what we can say node equals to node dot node root dot right so this is node and in the node dot left we can assign this root dot left so let's quickly write this down right so this is else we can use else if here as well and this is the else the last condition okay so i was mentioning like tree node node equals to we are holding root dot right okay and node dot left we can say root dot left that's it and let's go ahead and return root dot right because we need to return the root dot right why we need to return root dot right because this is the four that we need to return to the previous recursive call so that it can be set to five left side right to the node five left side all right so i hope this is clear right now let's consider other examples as well right so this was this let me create the new page let's say I am having some other hypothetical binary search tree here 45 and then see the left side is uh, 40 right side is 47 right side is 49 left side is again 46 okay so here let's say uh, let's choose the different color probably blue color let's say I am deleting the node that's 45 right 
so in that case what i will do i will go to the right side and earlier uh, the case was this right so earlier the case was straightforward i was just going to the right side and i was assigning uh, this right dot left with this right so i was saying this is the node and then i was saying node dot left equals to root dot right if it is root right so if it is root then root dot uh, so node equals to root dot right right so node is just a variable right and then node dot left we are saying node dot left we are saying root dot left that's what exactly we were doing and that's correct for this particular case wherever 4 is already the leaf node right but in this particular case 47 is not a leaf node right so where 40 should go it should go either here right it cannot go to here right because 49 is greater than 40 and we need to we need to maintain the property of binary search tree so in that case what we will do we will still go to the right so the logic would be same right so node what is our node here node variable is equals to root dot right right and then we are saying node dot left equals to root dot left that is correct only but before that we can just traverse node dot left if node dot left is not equal to null then go to node equals to node dot left exactly that's what exactly we need to do and then go ahead and return root dot right so let's see what this piece of code is doing right here okay so what this piece of code is doing so we are taking one uh, variable here that is node equals to root dot right and that is 47 here so this is node if i have to write this is the node or uh, in the small letters here so this guy is node all right now i am going to extreme left till i find the child leaf element so i am going to the 46 now and then i reach to the 46 right and if i define like one two three four line then at the line three right at the line three node dot left equal to root dot left so root was this right so this was root so root earlier was this and then i reached to root dot root equal to root dot left so now new root is this and then i am doing okay and this is node then i am saying node dot left equals to so now node was this and i traverse this node dot left equals to node dot left because to find the child or the leaf element then this is new node and then i'm saying node dot left equals to root dot left so root dot left is this guy right so this guy is root dot left this guy is root dot left so i'm assigning node dot left equals to root dot left and return the root root dot right so i'm returning 47 so now new output what will be the new output uh there is no space here but let me write it here 50 and then after 50 it would be 47 and after 47 it will be 46 and 46 left would be 40 40 and 46 there is nothing on the right side but 47 it will be 49 right so this will be the case here right so I'm not touching this part anything on the right side and it does not make sense right because if I am uh, assigning this left side then it will always go to the left side because this guy will be the smaller on the whatever values will be on the right subtree because of the binary search tree property. So if this logic is clear then that's what exactly we need to do in case uh, in case target key left and right child are still there and they are not null right so if uh, this is the key and key left and right they both are not null so that's what exactly we are doing here the only thing we just need to do here uh, we need to add this as well so if in case that is the case that we have going through right if it is still having left child then let's go to the leaf node right so node equals to node dot left and then assign node dot left equal to root dot left so i hope this is clear and uh, in the end let's go ahead and return root so okay that's what we are doing so what we are doing here we are searching after searching once we are handling here three cases 
one case is basically whenever the key left is null then we are returning right if right is null if key right is null then returning left and in that case in another case third case if root dot left and root dot right is not null so new root is the key i am mentioning here so don't let's not get confused with the actual root this root means the key root key this is the target key given key so this is the key right so this is the key but this is the value but we are matching with here right so else means this is what it is there right so root dot val equals to key so this root dot val equals to key means this is the new root that contains the key value but this is implicit we don't need to mention this condition because if it is not greater than it is not less than then by default third would be it will be equal right because it is a binary search tree all right so if it is uh, <clears throat> the condition where uh, key left and right they both are not null then we are following this approach right we are going to the right and we are checking okay if there is any further left go to the left to find the child or the leaf right leaf child leaf child once we go to the leaf then basically assign this root dot left to the node dot left that's it and we are done let's go ahead and return the root dot right so this is the root dot right node was root dot right but node has changed to here right so we need to return root dot right so i hope this might be clear let me go ahead and see for the compilation error and if there is not any let's see the time complexity so time complexity would be log n or h the space complexity will also be log n or h where h is the height of the tree so what we are doing here whenever we are traversing we are going till height of the tree right whatever the height of the tree till where we are just computing our uh, doing the complexity right and similarly space also recursive uh, we are doing the recursive approach here so the implicit stack would also be storing only the till the height of the tree right whatever the height is there that's where that's only the uh the space it's going to take so that's what implicit stack is going to take the space so both time and space complexity is log n or h where n is the number of nodes and h is the height of the tree right because why it will be log n or h because we are we are going either left or right so it's kind of binary search right because binary search means like the generally we apply the binary search in the array we go to the mid and then we search left half or right half similarly we are doing in the binary search tree either we are going to the left or we are going to the right right so this logic is playing the part of the binary search log complexity so either we are going left or right once we are finding the mid then we are going to the else if condition but i can remove this guy as well because it's implicit condition let me go ahead and try to submit this so looks like this is uh, working fine right uh, just take very quick summary before ending this video so the quick summary is uh, uh, first of all we need to delete in a bst in a binary search tree so we need to do the two operations here search so search we are doing here uh, either left side or right side why we are assigning to the root dot left and root dot right because we are returning if we find the key then in that case we are returning here accordingly right so for example if root dot left is null we are returning the right side if right is null then we are returning to the left side if both are null then also basically uh, it will go in either condition and it, it will still be returning null itself right so we have seen that case itself right so yeah this case so if e either the root dot left is null root dot right. in this case root dot left is null then we are returning root dot right still we are returning we are ending up returning null so five will still be getting null so this will be the output in that case as well right all right if both the child is not null then this is the approach that we are following right i'm not going to repeat this let's reverse back the video and listen that again if we want to uh, listen it again but this is the approach we are just uh, 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 assigning the basically we are just placing the right child in uh, in place of this key wherever whatever the key we are deleting right so we are taking the right we are going extreme left and then we are plugging out this left side and we are plugging out plugging in here we are inserting we are just basically appending here on the left side and we are returning the root dot right because that's how we are uh, approaching this problem so this is the output hopefully this is useful 
and feel free to let me know like the approach like if it is too complicated if it is too lengthy or something so that i can also improve on thanks thanks a lot have a good one bye